Hello everyone, here's Andy with a new video and this time I'm going to show you how I paint assets for my games or in this uh, special case for um, Brave Brand. This is uh, a game I'm working on right now and I've recently um, published a video on YouTube which shows my current progress and yes, in this video I will show you how I paint um, that asset here and this will be a platform where Brave uh, or where Brand can uh, run on, on top and um, the platform can rotate and if it rotates the player will fall down later and um, beneath him there will be thorns or something like that which get him killed so he has to get over the platforms without dying of course um, for painting I use Krita which is an open source painting application you can get it at krita.org and um, just download it, it's a really great painting application which I strongly recommend and it's recently released um, with the version uh, 2.9 and it has a great feature set and yeah, just test it. So <coughs> I've recorded the video um, right now or just I've just finished recording it and we'll just play it back with um, a little bit faster so I can give some comments and you see how the progress goes. So let's start from the beginning. Um, first of all I start uh, sketching uh, the asset with a black um, with a black brush and with a small size and just don't be too um, Yeah, just, just just try to block out the forms and uh, don't be too precise. Uh, if there are any errors or overlapping um, outlines, this doesn't matter. So here I use the this brush here, which can uh, create symmetrical objects, and that's for the gears. And now I scale them up a little bit and uh, just place them where they should should be later. And <coughs> when I start painting, I have I usually have an outline layer which is here, and uh, beneath the outline layer I will create the colors. So just um, take uh, a color and make it a little bit darker, and just block out the forms with it. And this layer can be, um, or the vi visibility of that layer can be locked later. So once I have um, Added the colors here. Um, yeah, I delete the outlines a little bit. You can lock that layer or the transparency here, so you won't uh, paint over the uh, um, opaque areas. Now just give it some little shadows and um, some variation, so it looks a little bit a little bit like wood. Just try to mess a little bit with it. Um, don't uh, be too precise in creating wood textures. I would just uh, try to, yeah, um, add some add some variation in the texture. Um, also, I um, I will pause for a second. Um, once I have create uh, or once I have uh, the done the basic uh, shading of the outline, I or of the background here, I go to the outline and color the outline so it isn't completely black and this will help me to um, to blend them together, outlines and the background color of that asset. Now just give it a second layer because this is uh, this will be the background pla plan planks, sorry, and um, Yes, so just very basic, and next some a few, a few more variations uh, in the uh, wood texture here. Yeah, you can you can be messy with the, with the colors. I think this doesn't matter. Just try um, to make it look natural. I don't know. Okay, what I do now is I create a new layer which is on top 
of um, that layers which will be uh, set to overlay and now you can increase the contrast so if you use that overlay and have colors um, which are a bright gray you will increase the contrast you will brighten up the image but not o not everything only um, bright areas the dark areas won't be um, brightened up that much and if you use darker gray colors you will um, make the image darker but only the darker areas so you can um, create a very good contrast with that overlay layer and you will see it here now so I just use a brighter color and make it a little bit more bright and a little bit more saturated and once I've um, done the basic painting I create a new layer on top of everything and just uh, blend the uh, outlines a little bit more with the uh, painted layer so you ho don't have um, them so much separated and this is what I do here now okay now um, the nails which uh, keep that together the single plan planks just give it some highlights it doesn't have to be too perfect or um, very detailed I think um, on a certain distance it just has to look right and um, just try it out and see how it looks at, at uh, your, your normal view distance and if it looks okay don't go too much into detail okay now here is um, some more stuff um, I try to give it a, a metallic look so brighter colors at the top darker at the bottom and also try to increase the um, contrast so you have very bright colors but also very dark colors because it reflects uh, yeah, the environment and now make it e even brighter okay I think that's okay give it some sh some shadows and now let's clean up the outlines a little bit and finally I will create the gears um, which I will create from a completely new so this brush is really awesome you can um, create very quickly um, symmetrical forms which are rotated and you can um, set the amount of uh, repetition so y in my case I have six but you can uh, set it to three to ten whatever you like and it will be rota rotated by that um, by the value you have set I don't get the uh, forms right from the beginning so I'm playing around a little bit until it looks about that what I want wanted to look like so painting is always a process um, you sometimes you don't get the forms directly you you want to have and just try it out a little bit more sometimes you have to delete um, things to get it look better and just try, um, start from the beginning sometimes um, yeah I think there is no not one way to get to the goal sometimes you have to <laughs> just try and repeat uh, the process and then you will um, yeah get to your goal so the asset is almost done now just uh, the platform finally and then it's almost done one thing I've forgotten and I would like to add now so um, many many stuff I have created with a rim light so because there's the moon in the background 
many assets have a rim light uh, in my game and this is just one little tiny uh, detail I will add now and um, once the video is done so you see here this is almost the final asset and we will now jump over to Krita again and create just a new layer and pick a color from here and just start painting a rim light. This will give the image um, even more um, depth and will make it look even cooler I think. So just very tiny rim light here not too much let's see how it looks I think this is nice so just some edges here and we are almost done with our asset here Okay, I think um, that's it for this video and I hope you liked it and maybe I can show you a few more painting videos in the future and maybe also a complete live painting where I paint um, something but this videos usually maybe can get too long I don't know how interesting it can be to watch that video for 30 minutes um, so that's why I just uh, increased the speed of the playback here. So thanks for watching and if you like that video please share it with other people and if you want to see more stuff like that just subscribe to my channel and um, I will definitely create new videos which um, yeah, may be interesting for you or not. This is uh, up to you and thanks for watching and see you in the next videos. Bye.